you know, there's been a lot of stories and things popping up of um, people's image. You can uh, people's image being stolen through AI and things, and uh, shown uh, it's showing up in pornographic content. Um, you know, there's that issue with the Twitch streamers, I believe, that found videos of herself and. and caused an issue uh as well as some possibility of um you know pedophiles and stuff using it for um pornographic materials of people's children um and it kind of pointed me back to uh i grew up well i i used to live in pennsylvania and there's an amish community there in lancaster that you can come visit um and, you know, part of the lore, you can say, of the Amish was that they don't take pictures uh, of each other or in general because they could steal the person's soul. Now, usually it made sense in the terms of something like vanity or something like that. But if you think about it, your image um, is associated to some extent with your soul and that you can say that the AI is stealing people's souls through stealing their image and making them do things they don't want to with the example I gave earlier of the Twitch streamers and stuff like that. Um, so by, you know, we make our image, our photos and stuff regularly available um, through these social media platforms. I mean, I'm doing it right now. Um, and to some extent, it's feeding into the beast or this machine um, that can use it and bend our image to a will of its own. And so I have to say that at first, um, you know, a while back, I thought the idea of not having photos because it steals your soul kind of silly in a materialistic sense. But now as the world um, gets crazier, um, I think they're more right than we care to admit. <laughs>